What's up, everybody? My name is Parker Ament. My name's Danny Ferrari. And we are Excellent Sound. Today, we got a great video for you guys. Tiger's come. We what? got Tiger Drool. Tiger Drool. Is that like a little... Tiger semen. Is that some animal weirdness? Quicks? What's, what's up with that? A little bestiality, Quicks? Yeah. Quicks is a shit, man. He's super sick. So today we're going to be going over the lead bass in Tiger Drool's Sabretooth. But is the name of the group Tiger's Drool or is yes. it Sabretooth? Tiger, Tiger Drool and the song is Sabretooth. Okay, okay. Yes. Well, I'm with you. We're following along. We're teaching, him, I'm teaching him the ways, I'm dude. just learning, dude. All right. So before we go into this, we have so much crazy shit going on. Okay? Speaking of Quicks, bro. The craziest shit going on is in August on the 18th. Oh, yeah. At 12 p.m. PST, okay. we are dropping car tests. Cartel Volume 3. Woo! There she is. There it is. Cartel the White. So uh, we wanted to make this a super, super special release for you guys. All of our day one sub and wubbers, we want to do this for you guys. So we're making it super special. There's only going to be 1,325 pre-sale licenses for this. So if you guys want to be a part of this release, go down into our description, join the pre-sale list, and you will get all of the updates. And on the 18th, you guys will get the purchase link. And we just updated the actual serum breakdown of what type of sounds are going to be in the actual pack itself. When you get the pre-sale, license the 1325 copies there is a total of 225 total serum presets that's the biggest preset pack we've ever done had to go big for cartel 3 we like to like have a little subtitle it's cartel 3 the storm right yep. because it's not just like normal boombox cartel nightmare stuff we wanted to really put quicks in there because quicks is the shit i know we're kind of making fun of the name and shit trying to understand it but quicks is such a sick person great producer she's definitely uh shout us out on his twitch so make sure you guys go check him out on twitch if you don't already you should be He's like the hybrid trap dad, dude. Yeah, trap he is. daddy. He's so he's so so good with sound design. So much respect to Quicks and of course Vincent, who I just met now. Vincent, I love you. You're a great guy. You're really smart. You got great hair. Great drops, dude. Great drops. Vincent. Killer drops. So if you guys aren't on that list, go into our description down below and join it. You guys will get all of the updates. You guys can see the serum breakdown, just like Danny was saying on the page. And that's it. Then yeah. you guys are just waiting. And if you like the sounds in this actual uh, project file, a lot of them and mostly the presets will be in the pack as well. We're going to talk about samples and stuff like that later. One last thing before we jump into this song. All you day one sub and wubbers, if you guys are on the pre-sale list, you guys are getting the first updates, okay? Everybody else is getting second updates, uh -huh. all right? If you want to know what's seconds. going on with Cartel Volume 3, get on that list yep. and you will get all of the email updates before anybody else. Couldn't have said it better myself. That's why. No, we do. Oh, yeah, Cartel 3. Fucking put it into each other. Yeah, here, Next. do it again. That's a three people says. All right, let's jump right into this sound, you guys. We are doing the Tiger Heat lead. It's a little drooly, a little hot. Woo! Nasty. So a lot of really cool stuff going on right here. We got an initialized serum patch right over here with our little rack. We're gonna be going over that a little later, but this is what it sounds like initialized. <laughs> so a lot of work ahead but we're gonna make it simple for you guys and take it one step at a time first things first we are gonna start with oscillator a and we are gonna put this on a sine wave and then next for oscillator b we actually made a custom wavetable right here we wanted to get this sound exact so we were doing a lot of like harmonic editing right over here if you guys want to see a video on that how many likes should we do on this video 500 likes. 500 likes on this video. We'll do a wave We'll show table. you some cool like uh, frequency matching for remaking stuff about what we kind of figured out. So you guys want to see that 500 likes, you got it. Yeah, so this will be in the download description below with the free download as well. So we got oscillator B, we got oscillator A. So this is like kind of little tiny signs with some nice harmonics in there. And then we got our normal sign right here. First things first is we are going to go to the warp mode of oscillator B and we are going to go to amplitude modulation. AM right here. And we're going to put this knob to 58%. All right. After you do AM from A, let's move over to our envelope section. So envelope one is going to look like this. It's going to be nice and pointy and it's going to have some body and then it's going to drop off right here. It's so, the bounce envelope, dude. Yeah, dude. Ba -ba -ba bounce. Basketballs. Ba -ba 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 so we got 33 milliseconds on the attack. We got zero hold and we got our decay at 5 10 and we got sustain at minus 17.9 dB and our release at 272. Nice. 
Let's set up our second envelope really quick. We want another little attack section right over here. We're gonna put attack at 48, hold all the way down, decay at 297, sustain at 33, and our release at 329. So we're gonna put this on some stuff to add some attack, but we'll go into that a little bit later. So now that we have all of this set up over here, let's make our first filter. We're gonna go to MG low 24. So just to cut some highs, we're gonna put the cutoff to 187. Oh shit. 187 on a motherfucking what is, cop. What's 187? 187 is the code for murder, bro. Is that 36 Mafia, bro? No, do you even three, fucking six mafia, bang, dude? dude? I don't know. I bang, though. You bang? Oh, <laughs> So uh, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna envelope one on the cutoff banger, mm -hmm. and we're gonna put that to 40. That's gonna sound like this. A little more of that bounce. Beautiful. Let's go back to these oscillators and really, really dial in the first sound. On oscillator A, we're gonna wanna go octave to three. Cool. We're gonna create some dissonance with the semitones. We're gonna put the semitones to four. So there's a lot of tuning stuff going on with this and it took a long time to really dial in, but we usually start with the octaves first, right? Yeah, usually. And see if we can pick a nice MIDI note to get the, the actual notes as well as, you know, mess with the FM knobs. It it's, feels like you're trying to tune like a 43 string guitar. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's like you tune one little thing over here and then, Jay, go show what a 43 string guitar looks like. Yep. Try tuning one of those. Toasting the bassies. You're moving little bits at a time to match the frequency, essentially. Yeah, exactly. So now we're gonna go to oscillator B to this custom wavetable. We're gonna put the octave up one. So now that's really, really close, really close to where it is. And then also the fine tune, we're gonna put to 35. We're dialing it that sound in to, to be in key and to be in tune with every note that you hit on the keyboard. And while we're talking about tune, let's put our key tracking on for the filter. So you can really hear those notes. See that's before, that's with. You could hear the dissonance without the key tracking. It's crazy. Correct. All right, so now that we got our key tracking, we're gonna make our first LFO. We're gonna keep it default to triangle and we're gonna put it on the AM from A. We're gonna be going backwards and forwards, so shift, option, click, and we're going to pull that down to 20 sevs. Let's hear what that sounds like. So, A little by itself, too. yep, that's how it sounds like with the shake. And then also make sure for the LFO to be on trigger and be on free, so the rate, and then put the rate to 11.3 hertz. Also, Quix loves triplets. Every time I watch him on yeah. his live stream, he, he just goes to 16th notes on the, on the grid and he fills it all with MIDI notes. And then oh, that's really? how he makes his crazy rhythms. It's, at least that's how it, it looked when I watched his uh, live stream. Yeah. He fills in all of his triplet 16s and then he starts taking them away. And when he's not crazy. on his live stream, he greases up that beard and oh, he gets dude, nice and greasy. triplets, nice three and girls. Drooly. Good looking guy. <laughs> yeah. Good looking New Zealand. Great looking dude. dude. He's he got, drinks a shoey. That's why you're wearing a beanie. You wanna you wanna look like Quicks today. I do wanna look like Quicks. I should why didn't you tell me to wear a beanie? Because you're not cool enough. Aww. We should beanie up one of these times. I'm down. Okay. Um, all right, so LFO2 on the fine tune, and we're gonna make sure that it's going backwards and forth. And we're gonna put it to oh, a Les. Les. Let's hear that. Gives it a little bit of vibrato. Vibrato. Someone cue the Italian music. Vibrato. Pasta, I want pasta. I want uh, fucking, uh, I want big things of bread everywhere. Oh, you love, I love bread. Dude. I want sauce What's pouring your all bread, over dude? the screen. Focaccia. 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 You focaccia, be kidding me. How can you focaccia, the focaccia? focaccia. focaccia. For all our Italians out there, you know what we're saying. Yeah, you shout out, Cuyos. shout out all of our day one Italians. Two guys over here, huh? Romanaccio. <laughs> Bastardo. <laughs> my maker, you shut you up. You shut up. Hey, I poke out of my head. All right, let's put LFO2 on the fine, uh, tune, fine tune, tune of B, default forward. And we're going to put that to... Minus 31s. Minus 31s. Yes, oh yeah, sir. we're going, we're going back. Backwards. Okay. I want to go over a couple more things with this filter over here. We're going to want to pull the resonance down. We're going to want to keep the drive down and we're going to put the fat all the way up to 100%. It's got that bounce. We, we've been really 
turning the drive up and fatness up yeah. on a lot of our filters these days. I really like, I mean, this could be a great little fucking nug and notch, but I really like messing with the drive of the filters lately as using it as distortion. Like even if you had the cutoff all the way up, using a drive of the MG Low 12s or any of the filters, they all have different sort of characteristics in their drive. So you get yeah. kind of more options with distortion. Mm -hmm. So lately that's been kind of a cool thing that I've been personally been like, oh fuck, I'll use the drive. Like when we make our respaces, I'm not putting distortion on them anymore. I'm using the drive from the filter. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I did notice that on your yeah. Reese basis. Reese King. Reese King. Reese King over here. Reese's Pieces. I don't know if you guys know, but this is the Reese King. Reese God. There Mushroom is. stamp on the rude boys. <sighs> All right, so now let's get to the effects section, you guys. All right, so first things first, we are gonna add a tube distortion to the bass. It's gonna sound like this. Drive is gonna be at 22%. Mix is gonna be at 32%. All right, and then now we're gonna put LFO2 that we made earlier, and we're gonna put this on the drive to give it some more attack. Next up, we have a multi-band compressor. We're gonna keep the threshold at 12 o'clock, ratio at four to one, attack at 90, release at 90, and we're turning up the gain 10 dB. Oh, it's a that sizzle. Yeah, now the really cool thing about this is that it's really mid-rangey. Now, we didn't expand the highs like we usually do. I really like doing that on OTT as well. I personally don't like the highs of the OTT. I usually pull the output down, but I'll show you guys what we did in a little bit. So we got a nice mid-rangey multiband right here. Next up, we have a Hyper Dimensh. And hyper rate is at 40%, detune is at 25%, mix is at 18, we got four voices of unison, size at 7%, and the mix at 24%. Just giving it a little bit more spread, a little bit more confusion. Next up, we have the EQ right over here. We are going to be cutting the highs. We're gonna be putting the first high cut at 1609 hertz. We're gonna be doing Q at 29%, and we are going to be doing some stuff with the gain in this envelope. But let's hear what this sounds like first. And then we're also going to be putting envelope two, our little attack envelope, onto the gain up five. Move that notch a little bit. Yeah. And then on the on the left side, we have 436 hertz, Q at 60%, and gain up 12. Now we're gonna go back to our main envelope and we're gonna put it on the EQ of the highs and we're gonna go all the way to 79%. And that's what's gonna be making it whip a little bit more. And then last up with the EQ, we're gonna be putting our main LFO2 onto the frequency and we are going to be putting it to two just to give it a little bit more jiggle. A little shaky. Little, little jiggly drool. Little jiggly drackly. And then next up, we got our chorus right here. We are putting the rate at 0.08, delay at 17.7. Delay two at 4.6, depth 6.7, feed 36%, low pass all the way up, and mix at 31%. So I've noticed that whenever we put chorus on stuff, like it really darkens up the sound. Yeah. And we usually always follow it with another filter. Yeah. So that's what we're gonna do right here. We got an MG Low 6. We got the cutoff at 59 hertz. We got the res at 19%, drive all the way down, fat all the way up, pan in the middle. And this is just kind of focusing in on that first filter that we made on the oscillator page. And then second up, we're gonna be putting this attack envelope on the cutoff, and that's gonna be going up to 34. complex sound man yeah it's there's a lot of stuff going on next up we have a flanger just to give it more movement a lot more i, I guess this is really creating the body of it yeah you know texture what I'm i would say like the chorus and the flanger and the phaser are kind of more texturizing the sound <clears throat> to to accurate to try to get the tone of yeah of what he created so the rate is at 0.08 depth is at 42 percent feed is at 50 percent phase is where it's at mix is at 34 percent And then to cap off this sound, we're gonna put a phaser, rate at 0.08, depth all the way up to midnight, frequency at midnight, 600, feed at 39%, phase where it is, and the mix at 42%. 
So these last moves are kind of very minimal moves, but it's adding a lot of texture, like Danny was saying. And then before we get into the post-processing, there is one more thing that I wanted to go over. This note section here, we are actually putting this on the EQ and we're putting that up to 13. This is just to reiterate all of the tuning stuff that we had going on over here, key tracking, keeping all the notes in tune with itself so it's an actual usable sound. Okay, one last thing before we go into the post-processing, we are going to put this LFO2 on the master tune to create a little bit more vibrato. So what we're gonna do is we put LFO2 on the master tune, we put this to one, and we are putting the output halfway and make sure that it's going left and right. Just a tiny bit more dialing in the vibrato. I don't think it's Just necessary. Yeah, this is without it. Oh, it actually helps a lot. Yeah, it, it creates like a little like, squeegee. Yeah, a little, little squeegee. squeegee. <laughs> yeah. that, a little squeegee. If you guys want to get this project file and many, many more like this, you can get all the drums, you can get all the presets, everything that we made. Make sure you guys go check out our Patreon. The link is in the description down below. If you guys go and you click that link, you can see we have tons of different tiers from feedback to our legacy YouTube tier to our VIP tier. If you guys check that out, pick which one works for you. And if you want to get this project file, you want to join the legacy tier and you can open that up and you'll see we have tons of project files for you guys all to download with all the sounds and presets in there. And of course our VIP tier, which also includes the project files and exclusive presets and samples for you guys. So check that out and support us on Patreon if you can. We really, really appreciate all our supporters. Thank you. All right, so now let's get to the post-processing. We have first off OTT straight out of the gate. We're expanding the mids, we're expanding the highs just a little bit. We pulled the output down a little bit and also the time up a thousand percent just to get rid of that tail. Next up, we have another OTT. This is all really, really simple stuff, you guys. Just really driving that mid range, not a lot of high end stuff going on. And then the low end is actually getting driven a little bit too. If you guys didn't know as well, for OTT, you can actually pick the frequency for the lows. So default is 88.3, which I, I don't know why that is the default, but you can actually pick whatever one you want. I think it only goes up to like 200%. I think it goes to 200, 200, 200 hertz, hertz, right? Yeah. And then that's it. So that gets pretty close to getting that like muddy low mid range that you sometimes like. Could be cool on a snare though, if you push it up to 200 hertz. Exactly, you know I mean? yeah. And maybe turn off the high and mid portion of that. Maybe you can accentuate that little punch at 200. Yeah, because you can't move the mid range frequency and sometimes you want to get in between these two right over here. Yeah. So you can only go up to 200, but definitely helpful. So look out for that, you guys. And then after the second OTT, we're just going to be doing some EQing. We're going to be cutting all the way up to 272 hertz and then a little muddy bump right over here. But this is for tone, you guys. And then we scooped the mids a little bit and boosted the highs. That's where that sound lives in that sort of range. Exactly. And this gives all the room for the sub. So without it, So really, really cleans it up. If we play it in context, look how muddy it is without the EQ. So check it out. And if we were to mute the sub and just keep the sub in the, the actual sound, it sounds like this. It does not, it's not kind of trash. Yeah. But this is something that we see a lot when we get feedback from you guys, when we get tracks. Make a separate sub for your lead bass sound. You'll have a lot more flexibility with what you can do, and you'll get a lot of nice separation, but also glue. Yeah, dedicated sub for your sounds is the way to go. Because a lot of people do ask that. That's a really, really good point. A lot of people ask, well, do we do a dedicated sub or do I leave my sub? Yeah. It depends. Most of the time, dedicated sub is the best way. It's a bigger pain in the ass. But but at the end of the day, it's gonna be cleaner because you have more control over it specifically. Yeah, and especially when you have a bunch of different like base one shots over here and there, it starts getting really complicated when you have a separate sub, mm -hmm. getting all the notes right, getting the tones right. So this is usually the cleanest way. Speaking of subs, we are posting the actual Why Your Subs Suck video this week. I know you guys, we mentioned it in a couple videos. Yes, we're posting it, it's done, it's gonna be up. Definitely check out that video. Yes, we didn't forget about you guys. Yeah. So let's listen to this whole thing in context and let's roll out of here. Let's 
Luigi. So sick, dude. Super, super sick sound. Hopefully you guys learned something. If you guys have not already, join our Cartel Volume 3 pre-sale list. Get all of the up-to-date news on what's going on. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe. And again, Cartel Volume 3. 1325 is going to be the ones that get all the bonuses. Let's, let's get, it, let's get one more in here. Time for the rebound.